What's your reaction after watching the movie The Cove? Well, I've worked with Rick's now for over 20 years, but when I watched The Cove, it was uh, an eye-opener for me because I had never seen the actual you know, methods of how they did this. So it really was an eye-opener, a shocker, and it made me want to do more. Even though I've been doing this work for 20 years, before that I was a volunteer in the retail world, and Rick O'Berry helped me over 20 years ago stop a dolphinarium in South Carolina. Then we got a law passed in South Carolina banning dolphin captivity. So seeing the cove actually spurred me to do more, you know, over 20 years later. And that's why I'm very intent. You know, I have a special place here in Thailand. I have many friends here in the tuna industry and other aspects. And that's why I'm here with Nancy to help her stemming. We don't want Thailand to become another dolphinarium haven like Japan just because of, you know, the tourism. There's enough wildlife here and wild dolphin ventures that you can do in Phuket and other areas. You don't need these dolphin facilities. They're just ridiculous. The dolphins suffer. They belong in the ocean with their own families and their own kind. When you go to these circus tricks, circuses and see these tricks, all you're teaching the people is, as Rick says, dominance. You think a child walks away from a dolphin show knowing anything better about a dolphin? No. Children seem to have fun watching all these dolphin shows. So why should the children have fun and the animals suffer? Is that right? If the children knew how those dolphins got there, do you think they would go back if they were told the truth? Nope, they wouldn't. Absolutely not. If they knew that the dolphins were dragged away from their families, mothers and kids were dead because of the, the capture nets, because for every dolphin you see in that tank, four or five others could have died in the process because they drown in the nets, they have capture shock, Sometimes the flippers get cut off in the net. They just throw them back as garbage. So the whole thing is, it's nothing but about money and human greed. That's all this dolphinarium business is. They claim education. There's no education to seeing a dolphin swimming in a circle. We were the ones that rescued Willie, the star of Free Willie. His name is Keiko. We took him from a tank that he had outgrown after the movie, soon after the movie closed, moved him to a larger tank, then we put him in the wild. He actually went with wild orcas after a period of rehabilitation and went with a pot of wild orcas all the way to Norway. He basically was a free whale to do what he pleased. And he wasn't even a real candidate. So the vast majority of these dolphins, orcas, what have you, in captivity today, could be rehabilitated. I mean, the orcas are the largest of the dolphins you see in the sea world. Mm -hmm. Some of them are very dangerous. They're actually killing people. This orca named Tilikum has killed three people already. The last year he killed a trainer. His wow. trainer, he drowned her on purpose. You can ask Rick more questions about this, but this is what they're psychotic because they live in these tanks. They're used to traveling with their families, doing what they do as orcas, not living in a bathtub. Humans can do nothing to recreate what these mammals need, nothing. You took the initiative to free um, Keiko the orca. Well, what happened at that time? Why did you actually um, jump in and try to um, free Willie in the real world? When we were asked to by the movie producers because they had been involved with us in the early days of the Dolphin Safe Tuna campaign in their movies. Um, when they made Free Willie, they wanted to have a tag at the end for conservation of whales. But instead of the conservation of whale as a general 
um, campaign, it became, what about the whale who played Willie? He was still stuck in a terrible place mm -hmm. in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So Warner Brothers came to us and asked us to do something about it. And so we did. Mm -hmm. And it was a success story despite what SeaWorld and the rest of these aquarium people will tell you. Keiko went to the wild. He went back to Iceland where he was captured. He was released into the ocean and he thrived. He ate fish. He was with other orcas. He never lost weight. In fact, he gained 3,000 pounds before we actually moved him to Iceland. So it was a success for an orca that was in very bad shape, which means there's so many of these other orcas that could be easily put back. And if they don't go to the wild, at least let them, let them live in a sea pen in a natural environment where they feel the tides, they can have live fish or what have you. But these concrete tanks are something out of the 18th century and they've got to go. It's my opinion, they should all go. Tear them down and do something else and get out of this mindset that it's okay to keep wildlife captive. Where there's, you know, elephants in tutus, chimpanzees riding bicycles, every bit of that is unnatural. Do you know about how many dolphins are there in the wild and how many in captivity right now? In the wild, I mean, there's so many different species and there's not, good, there's not a lot of good data. In captivity, what would you say, maybe, maybe 2,000. It's hard to gauge because the aquarium doesn't want you to know the answer. They hide behind the darkness of their work. They wouldn't be in business if the people knew the truth. If the average person who walked into that place and bought a ticket knew the truth of how these dolphins get there or how the elephants get there, you think they would buy tickets if they were compassionate people? I don't think so. Have you ever talked directly to owners of all of these marine parks? We debate all the time, but they, they have their mindset. They'll call us, you know, different names because of what we do. We say, you want to do something correct? Stop doing this for these dolphins. They say, how are we going to educate people? They say, take them on a boat, do the high-tech video, IMAX, whatever. Get rid of the dolphin shows, you know, and then they won't do it because it's money. So that's what it is, the bottom line. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. So until people are more enlightened and stop buying these tickets, we'll continue to campaign and do what we do. Whatever it takes to stop the, the trade, that's what we do. The film Free Willy inspired many people because it talks about freedom. We as human cherish freedom. Dolphins enjoy freedom too. So we can help in the least by not supporting dolphin shows. See you next week on Viewpoint. สวัสดีค่ะ